Hey y'all, I'm actually getting ready to go to the park to work out. So I'm going to take y'all with me. It is 5, 12 a.m. By the time I get to the park, it should be like maybe about, I'm gonna say close to 5.30. So yeah, let's go. I wanted to show y'all right quick. Like right now I have a waist center on. Then when I get actually to the park, um, I put a sweatband around my waist, so I kind of wear a waist cincher and a, uh, a sweatband when I'm walking. Like, it's great for your waist. I am probably just going to walk today because my legs is really sore and I don't think I'm going to be out here long today because it looks like it's about to rain or do something, but we'll see. Hey y'all, I just got back in from um, grocery shopping. After I left the park, I ended up going to the grocery store, me and my son. So like today pretty much is going to be a chill day for me. I don't have to work. I wanted to record two videos today, but most likely that's not going to happen. I want to meal prep a little bit, and I just kind of want to relax because I'm tired. I feel like I've been going and going all week. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, and then I'm probably going to look online, well, on Audible for like another audio book, even though I joined the book club last week, and I've already finished like the book of the month. Actually, I finished two books <laughs> last week. Actually, I got one of them right here. This one is called The Couple Next Door. Like, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Like, this one, I can really see as being a movie in a couple years. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's about this couple. They go to a dinner party one night, and they leave their, their baby next door in the house. Because they figured they got the baby monitor, they could hear the baby crying, blah blah blah. When they leave the party, they go back home, and the baby is missing. And kind of from like that point on, you just kind of figure out, like, try to figure out who took the baby, like, all this other stuff is really good. But at one point in the book, like, kind of in the middle. I was getting like so frustrated and angry with the characters like to me that's how I feel that's how, to me that's the sign of a good book when you get so frustrated with some of the characters like why are you so stupid but at the end it kind of like speeds up a little bit because during the middle to me it was kind of like slow paced but at the end it speeds up and it gets like really really good so uh, I'm gonna try this vlogging thing again because i feel like this is a lot of work like this is more work than actually sitting down recording a video because you got to constantly remember to take your camera or your phone out and record like i was gonna record in shop right but i was just so focused on what i was doing i wanted to get in and get out so yeah if i do anything exciting today then i'll pull out my phone and record but most likely i'm not I don't gotta sit here. I'm waiting for FedEx, UPS, and um, the regular uh, postal uh, carrier. So I'm trying to wait for them. And that's the only thing about waiting, you know, when you get stuff delivered, like it could be all day. And I ordered like some pretty expensive stuff in the mail. Like UPS always bring my stuff to me like and plus I know like the UPS uh, delivery guy because he's been the guy for years but for some reason FedEx and post in the post office when they're delivering packages like they always get my street mixed up with another street that's in a whole nother city and it's like I don't understand how they get, the street that they go to that's in the other in another city their house number is the same house number as mine it's like Name of their street is Place. So I want to tell my address. And mine is Avenue. 
So sometimes they take my stuff to that street and leave it and vice versa. They'll bring their stuff here. And I'm kind of nervous about that because I ordered um, a Gucci bag and I ordered um, a pair of red bottoms. And it's like, I can't afford to have my stuff mixed up because if somebody opened them packages, they're not going to give them back. And a lot of times when they deliver stuff at the wrong address, they don't want to take fault for it. So then you have to call a place where you ordered it and go through that because then you have to prove that it wasn't delivered. I don't got time for all that today. Like, I just hope I get my stuff. Matter of fact, let me knock on wood that I get my shit today and I don't jinx myself. But all right, <laughs> later, y'all. I wanted to show y'all this earlier, but I don't know why I slipped my mind. I had found some faux fa uh, flowers at Marshu's. And to me, like, they just look so realistic. Even though I showed some, I forgot who I showed the other day. And it was like, no, these look fake. But to me, like, it looks, they look so real. Now, I got to, like, I don't know, maybe kind of, like, organize it a little better. Not the or word organized. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. I don't know, but to me, it looks real. What y'all think? And I need to just organize this dressing in general. Like, I'm gonna move these bags and this other stuff, but I wanted to show y'all that real quick. Oh, and because I'm gonna do a fragrance haul and I sprayed one of the fragrance that I got today, which is the um, Tom for uh, Noir um parfum or whatever and this was kind of like a blind buy where i've been watching like youtube videos and everybody is just raving like oh my god this um perfume smells so good you need this this smells exactly like the tom ford velvet orchid i mean it don't a uh, velvet orchid now it doesn't smell like identical but they smell very similar like so similar where it's like if you have one you don't need the other one like that's how similar y'all that's why sometimes you really can't go off the opinions of people on youtube because i don't know what's so amazing about this fragrance that it's not being talked about about the other one even though the other one is kind of an older fragrance so i don't expect people to be talking about it but oh yeah when i sprayed this earlier i sprayed this on myself like six hours ago and i can still smell it now to me that's the sign of a well not the sign of a good perfume but i just like long lasting perfumes i feel like if i'm gonna pay over a hundred or something dollars for a fragrance i want to smell it all day i don't want to smell it for two hours then it just the aroma the scent just go away but yeah i thought i would share that with y'all i think i'm probably gonna end this vlog after that i mean after this because I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. And I just checked the weather. And it's supposed to be raining real bad again. Like today, it rained all day long here in Jersey. I didn't go anywhere. And I'm one of those people, I do not like the rain. Like, it's nice to look at from your window. <laughs> Looking at the rain outside. But like, going out, in and out in the rain. Like, I do not like that. So... I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, but if I don't do anything tomorrow, I'll probably end it here. But if I do, then of course I will record. Hey y'all, I'm back home. I just got out the shower, but... I wanted to say like this vlogging thing is a lot because I keep forgetting to cut my camera on when I'm out in public and I don't know this probably be like my last vlog like I just I can't see myself doing this often like I should have vlogged more footage when I was at the park but I was busy focusing on my workout um then when I got home I totally forgot to like put the camera on but yeah like this probably gonna <laughs> I don't know if this is probably going to be my last vlog or what. I don't know. Like, it's a lot of work, you know. Well, it's not a lot of work, but you just got to remember to always pull your camera out when you're doing something. Um, right now, I'm putting on my face the um, Sunday Riley uh, Mattifying Melting uh, Water Gel Toner. 
I talked about this a couple times on my channel. I really like to put this on on the days where I'm putting makeup on because it is a mattifying toner. So it just works good to me. It's my opinion under makeup. And then also on days where I'm wearing makeup, I like to use the Origins uh, Matte Moisturizer with Willow Bark. Like it is moisturizing, but it also mattify your skin because like I am oily and today it's supposed to be like 80 something. I don't know. It's just going to be hot, but yeah, this is what I like. Hopefully y'all can see it. I like using, come on, focus, focus, focus. I don't know if it's my camera or what, but yeah, this is what I like to use on the days when I'm wearing makeup and i put on my lips which i don't where the hell i put it at i can't even find it oh here it is the um laneige sleeping mask like i used to like this a lot now i don't like it so much i feel like it's not a it's not a mask for your lips like my lips don't feel moisturized like after using it, like, of course, your lips feel moisturized, like, the first maybe 10, 15 minutes. But I just feel like this does not, it's not, like, worth the 25 hours. Even though it lasts a long time, but I'm just, I'm slowly, like, losing my interest in it. I heard the Agave uh, lip sleeping mask was, like, better than this one. But... I don't just apply this at night like how you're supposed to before you go to bed. I, I apply it during the day or whenever I feel like my lips need moisture. And I don't know. It's like I noticed one day I put this on and then like I put like a matte lipstick on, I think, that day. And my lips just look like dry and like the skin, like, I don't know, just look crusty almost. And it's like, why do my lips look like that if I put this on under a matte um, lipstick? But whatever. Let me get dressed because I am going to record like two, three videos today. And then I wanted to go to BJ's. Hopefully, if I go to BJ's, I remember to cut my camera. <laughs> but yeah, so let me just stop talking and like get dressed. It is hardly anything. I'm in Marshalls right now. This shit looks like a junk store. Wow. I just left out of stopping shop. The line was so fucking long and it was ridiculous. Then I decided to go in Marsh shoes because I've been looking for, I need a new comforter for my bed. And honey, they had no comforters on the shelf. The store looked like a junk store. I don't know, you know, I hate to say stuff like this, but I live in like a predominantly like black neighborhood like a black and hispanic neighborhood and i noticed that this is my second time coming to this marshall's and it was not it wasn't shit in there then when i go to like marshall's like in a different neighborhood like the store is fully stocked like i don't know what that's about because i'm not trying to turn this into one of those type of videos but it's like I think I recorded. You will see. It's it was nothing in there. It looked like a pure junk store. Like Marshalls look like it's going out of business. And then they got the nerve to have a line that's just crazy long. And on top of that, I'm hot because <laughs> it is hot as hell. Let me close this because that's some be beating down on my head. And all right, y'all. Like I'm so tired. Like I recorded so many videos today well not so many i did three plus in the middle of trying to remember 
to vlog and I'm kind of tired and you know it's like only seven sorry I'm late my candy it's only like seven o'clock which I go to bed early because I get up early and I'm trying to just like record as many videos as I can because previously when I used to um when I first like kind of got into YouTube I would make a video here and there like I would make a video like one video a month then I'll make another one and that's because I was so busy like working then I got my kids and then my time I get off or get like free time I don't want to talk about nothing I don't want no camera in my face so now that I'm going back to work I don't want to get too busy because with this whole quarantine and me being at home like it kind of lit a fire underneath me literally like that's so corny <laughs> it kind of like just made me just start doing videos that's like I feel like I've been on the road like I've been doing two videos a week for like the last couple weeks um so yeah I just don't want to slow it down I don't want to get back to that point so I'm trying to keep it going which what is it Chloe another one yeah. go ahead and get it that's um my daughter like i was saying i don't i want to keep it going even if i have to like figure out a day just to um record i'm going to do that because like i've been being real consistent and i kind of like that I, I like that i'm being consistent um what i was about to say she made me totally forget my train of thought Oh, and I'm supposed to, um, I want to, <laughs> you ever want to, this is my first time vlogging, like, I don't want to say something about, okay, let me explain the situation, right, a few months ago, I had a boyfriend or whatever, and we kind of, like, broke up, like, I ended it, because you know how, like, when you first, well, no, let, let me not say that, like, I am very aware of the type of people or pers personality that I can get along with. Like, I know off the bat, I know within the first five minutes whether you're somebody that I feel like I can tolerate or you're somebody that is just going to irritate me and I don't want to be around. And it was the kind of like the case of that with my ex-boyfriend. Like, when I first, when we first started talking or whatever, I knew instantly, like, me and him is just not going to get along because overall i have a very dominant personality i don't know like i just have a very strong personality like i know what i want i know what i don't want i want things to be a certain way and i feel like there's nothing wrong with that and he was like the kind of person who like to go back and forth like i don't like to i don't like nobody thinking that you're gonna go back and forth with me over something simple like i remember one time he asked me a question about something. So I was like, no, you shouldn't do it like that. No, he asked me, he was he was writing a resume. So I forgot what word he used, but I'm like, you shouldn't use that word because you're not supposed to start. So I can't remember. He was like, oh, but I can do it this way. And I'm like, I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm like, you know, I have, you know, I can be sarcastic and I can be a smart ass. I'm like, I have more than a high school education. So let me kind of help you with this. And He's like, oh, well, my mom, my sister, like, it just was just always, like, combative. And also, like, the more time, you know how, like, the more and more time you spend with a person, you get to know them more and more. And the more time I spent around him, it was just, like, he just got on my fucking nerves. And I, we just, we wasn't a good fit. And it's like, I have to be very aware of the person that I decide to date because I do have kids. My kid, you know, kids are very impressionable and I have to be very, very cautious of who I have around my son. And certain things I don't want around my son, like certain things I don't speak around. Well, no, I speak around a lot. I talk about a lot of different things in front of my kid, but it's a way that you say stuff like when I'm having a conversation, like, I'm able to use my words, like, I know how to articulate and get my point across without being like, mother F it is, and this, like, I don't talk like that, and that's how he talk, but anyway, because I'm realizing I'm going on and on and on, 
So I met this other like after we broke up. It's like I've been talking to this um a guy and he know I got a YouTube. I'm praying. I'm praying that he don't watch my videos. And with my luck, he might stumble upon this one. But anyway, um he is just like so nice. But it's like, I just don't like him. And it kind of goes back to like, I know who, I know, like I said off the bat, like what I like and what I don't like. And I just don't want to waste time. And I don't want to waste his time. And it's like, he always be like inviting me out. And I just be like, oh, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Even though I do be going to bed, but it's like, I don't know. It's just like, it's just no chemistry and it's like not even so much of what well, chemistry is important it's like i've got to be very aware of like who i have and to bring into my life because you're not coming and just you're not coming only into my life you're coming into like my kid's life but it's just like something like about him i just i just don't like like i don't know what it is have you ever just met a person it's like you just don't know what it is about this particular person but you just don't like and it's not like he rubs me like the wrong way or give me like negative energy i just heard somebody talking outside it's like it's just i don't it's like it's no i don't know it's like i just don't like him like i just don't like him like let me tell you something and then i'm probably gonna end this vlog because it's gonna be super super long it is hard being a black woman and trying to date especially when you are a woman who how can let me find the words i don't want to be offended i don't want to be offensive like like i'm the kind of woman like i feel like i don't need a man for anything like i don't need you to buy me no bag i don't need you to buy me no shoes i don't need you to give me no money i don't need you to put gas in my car i don't need you but i like i don't need a man for anything and like that is just i don't know some men don't know how to take it they don't know how to take that they don't like one guy i was talking to and i'm like i told him that like you know i don't need a man because i don't like it's not like if i don't have one like my life don't go on or like if i don't have a man i'm not waking up the next morning no it ain't that it's like i don't need you and he took like he was highly offended by that and it's like I don't, I don't need you. I've been living in this world for 33, almost 34 years. I don't need you. I don't need a man now. It'll be nice to have one, <laughs> but I don't need one. But anyway, let me start cleaning up because, oh, and earlier, when I'm in the process of making all these videos, that's why, I, like, if you see the next couple videos, I'm sitting right here. My vanity, like the glass in it broke. And when it broke, like everything I had stacked up there. So like blush, brushes, lipsticks, powder, it's just went everywhere. And it's still on the floor because I'm lazy like that. I left it. And it's like, I got a lot, a lot of stuff to do. But yeah, I don't know if I should keep recording tomorrow something for this vlog or just let it in right here because i don't want it to be super long and plus i haven't even done anything that exciting in the last two days because it has literally rained damn near all day both days but um you know what should i end this vlog hmm i think i am probably gonna end it right here i think i don't know <laughs>